Now we head back to Lake Tahoe as Pavo Stubstad and his crew bring us more of the action from the Mama Bears tournament. It's almost playing match play. So it's the shortest hole on the course, but it's tucked in left. Um, I've never seen an ace on this hole. It's extremely You protective. really got to get lucky. It's an easy birdie. It's an easy birdie if you can. But there's some trees out there, and, you know, it's basically, you know, you want to throw a mid-range. A little... But it's got to stay straight before it hyzers. If it starts hyzering immediately, you're going to get into the left trees. Yeah, and you know, this pin, you can be five or ten feet right and still not have a putt. You kind of got to be a little short or a little long. So this hole's my long. front yard. So I sit up on my porch and uh, watch everyone play this hole all day. Leah goes with the high hyzer shot, which I think is the, for the ace run. Here's Jessica's second. Oh, just clipped some branches there, didn't get through. Yeah, I'm surprised she didn't like do something safe around, you know, a yeah. left to right or. Tries to go through again. Oh, oh, and, it and, now, rolls she, out. and now she's stymied again. Okay, it's done. That, that one you might almost want to get on your knees. Gak, 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 gak. Just get it close. Put it in the f***ing basket. That's my neighbor Gunner's rig up there. I'm just to the left of him. That net protects his rig a little bit from this, but he gets hit more often than not. Then he storms out of his trailer like a grumpy old troll. Don gave so, that a good run. Beware of the 15th hole troll. Oh, Jessica, just off the cage for her four putt. So here on the shortest hole in the course, our leader's taking a double bogey. And here's Christine for birdie. And Christine yeah. just made a three-stroke swing on a 190-foot hole. To bring it back to a tie. You know, I love those short technical holes. Anything you know, can happen on them. You know, you think birdie bogey can happen easy, but a birdie double bogey, that's... It's rare. And to bring it back to a tie. With three to go, she just, I mean, Jessica's got to be kicking herself now. Let's see how she, uh, you know, if she can settle herself down. Meanwhile, Leah and Don are fading into the distance. I'm to 16's a little downhill. This is a really neat short hole. Downhill, but there's a tree right halfway down the fairway, and then the basket's protected by a double tree. Yes. There's trees to the left and right and beyond the basket, too. If you, too. Go, if you go deep, then you're putting through trees back. Another short and protected hole. We used to try a spike well, hyzer line up above those trees to the right, but those trees, for some reason, just keep growing every year. And we've been taking that shot out of play. This is the hole where four people could throw four different drives. You'll see a flick, you'll see a backhand, you'll see a thumber, you'll see a tomahawk. Absolutely, yeah. Don and Jessica both going for the flick route. I'm digging Jessica's caddy with the mohawk. Oh! Oh, great run! Leah almost nice hit the birdie there. That was a good run there. Dawn's in the trees back off to the right, I believe. Or back off to the left. Yep, she went long, long left. Nice shot, Don. Laid it up nicely for a par, though. It's pretty hard to get out of those trees. They're thick, and Jessica's back there, too. It's definitely an area where you want to be able to throw a flick putt or a straddle or a turbo, even. Christine for birdie. Nope. It's it there for a par, though. Don 
snuck that one in there. All right, don't snuck one in there. And everyone else taps in for par, and we've got, uh, I believe, what was the second star par of the round after hole one. A star par? We call it, I call it par a frame. par frame. I like calling it a star or a par. a parte. Hole 17, it's uphill, it's 252, plays 300 at least. Um, you can get into trouble left big time. And there's some overhanging branches right above the fairway that will jump out and grab you when you least expect it. That's, uh, you don't want to go over there. Ooh, bad kick. Fortunately, on this pin, there is some recovery, but she could be uh, a very awkward lie there. Leah turns that over nicely. Okay. He gets it up there. That's safe. Safe. Long long look at a birdie. Um, she's Definitely got a safe probably bar. 50 or 60, the uphill putt. On with a good looking drive up there. Good drive. It's uh, shorter than it looks. She's still got 30 or 40, but. Oh, and good catch. Jessica and goes there. left, but it looks like it gets through clean. It's a good shot for the B placement up there. Yeah, right? yeah, but. Probably not the line she was trying to hit, but she made it up there. Well, Christine almost hit that line, but just nicked a branch and knocked her left. Leah just puts it up there for a par. Oh, my oh Dawn goodness. gave that birdie a chance. I thought it was in. Here's Jessica. Blew by the basket. Come back birdie putt. She's closer to the B placement. Oh! oh. oh. Huge That's putt. A huge. That's a good birdie there. Great birdie. Especially on the second to last hole of the tournament. Yeah, Christine has to follow that up right here and try to I save know, her she, far. That just put the pressure on Christine. Oh, oh and she chains out strong side. It's rude. It's ruined. That's huge. Yeah. To make that putt and put the pressure on your competitor. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, headway, I don't care. Up, rolling. Yeah, I think Don and Leo are ready for the after party. <laughs> Maybe that or a nap. It was a generous spot. So going into 17 there. They're, uh, they're uh, not doing anything to hinder the other girls' chances. They're no. playing professionally. So Jessica with the birdie, Christine with the bogey, and Jessica has a two-stroke lead going into 18 now. That's a heck of a turnaround after that three strokes she gave up on 15. Yeah, it's a good comeback. You know, that, some people sure. that gets in their head. So this is only 236 downhill. That garden there on the left is OB. The basket's just right down by that skinny tree in the sun there in the middle. It's downhill, so you can run deep of it, which isn't a bad play, because then you have an uphill putt, and it really takes bogey out of play. If you come up short, it gives you a little bit of a death putt, and if you're really needing that birdie, you know. I like it. It's right at that skinny tree. Yep. Okay, so short. she's a little like a short shot. left. Yeah. Do you qualify for the weight class? Ooh, Dawn kicks off the sign. Dawn's trying to go in the garden there, huh? Right. Mother foot higher. That could have gone over the fence and been OB. It's a good thing she kicked off that sign. Yeah, I don't think she's that concerned. No. And Jessica lays up with for a With a two-stroke lead, no reason to run that. Absolutely. Christine is obviously going to try to make this. Oh, well, oh, it rolls away. It didn't even matter at that point. I suppose that's true. Because Birdie wasn't going to win it. Jessica yeah. was underneath the basket. 
And that's how you want to close out the last hole. No drama. Oh, I was gonna hope Don or Leah made a putt. Christine for par after that roll. Nice putt. Yeah, she's done that a few times, but she's still running on. That wasn't a layup. And Jessica puts in her par for the and win. And Don and uh, Leah are still, you know, wondering, you know, they could still get third place. I think they're paying out three places because there's seven open women. So they got to see what the chase group did as far as uh, getting that last cash. Some people have a problem with last cash. I love last cash. It's better than no cash. So here Jessica won the card with three down and Christine with one down. And here's the PDGA results. And Victoria Bruss snuck up there and took last cash by shooting an even par on that last round. Disc Golf Live welcomes your videotape submissions. We can edit rough footage or accept fully edited segments. All you need to do is follow some simple guidelines and submit your footage. Disc Golf Live will do the rest. Please visit our website to learn more about how you can become part of Disc Golf Live. Our last segment this show takes us back to De La Viega Park in Santa Cruz as Ian Anderson and the crew at Central Coast Disc Golf bring us the conclusion of the Masters Cup. What up gang, CCDG and Dynamic Discs are bringing you some more disc golf action. In a Central Coast Disc Golf news, I opened up a Patreon account, uh, so if you want to give back, that would be awesome to help us cover more tourneys and whatnot. Uh, if you can't, no worries. Uh, but anyway, let's watch some disc golf. Alright guys, Ian and Garrett here from Central Coast Disc Golf bringing a little more commentary on uh, 2014 Masters Cup Round 3 Part Ducks. The final the final half. Should be awesome, man. The showdown. Yeah, the super exciting finish of yes. this crazy tournament day lock. Oh. Just some amazing, amazing golf these guys are playing. Ricky is doing work on the final <coughs> round. Got four strokes on Paul. God. <laughs> Can't say that Making very often in the final nope. round. But uh, that's going to bring us to hole 17, the lady slash gravity. And it's called gravity because you know, your disc will roll out a lot. <laughs> <laughs> it's short, but it, it's, it's, tricky. it's tricky. It is. The shot is not to throw a hyzer at the basket. It's to throw a hyzer to the left of that V-tree uh, and have it short. kind of just filter down into the basket. Gotcha. Get that reverse skip when you're throwing into a, uh, a bank like that. Exactly, Garrett. Oh, Rick. Got a little kick, but he did stay up kind of where he landed, so he's going to have a birdie putt. Oh, Ooh. Simon hit a high branch. And he's like, he's like, that's the second time I did that. <laughs> I was like, no way. Don't you learn? But apparently it was. Yeah. Ooh, Paul had a little wide, caught Ooh. that tree, and oh, bye bye Oh, no. Oh, bye bye That's not what you want? No. Not with Ricky on your heels? Not so much. Tim Skellinger? Doing the Heiser flip? And that one just kind of kept going. Oh. And then it started rolling. Mm, it kept going some more. Oh. That's going to be a tough putt. So Simon kicked off short left. I, he's probably just laying up. I can't imagine he would run this. Yeah, yeah, just laying up. So that that blue dot down there, that's Paul. <laughs> that's the basket. And he's got a, about a million trees and bushes in, his, in between. Ooh, and then he hit one. So that's Paul again, this time behind that little uh, kind of white tree. And he's got this to save par. Oh, no. oh, sit. Oh, no. Oh, sit. It's at. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. It's a relief. Yeah. So Rick has this for a two stroke lead. Yep. And he hangs it. Clutching up, Rick. Yep. Making a run on Paul right here. Straight charging. Love it. Get that disc golf drama, Garrett. Yeah. <laughs> Eat it up. Love it. That was Tim from the shrubbery. Just high. There's Paul tapping in the bogue. There's Jennifer again. Yep. yep. Every guy's tapping. dream having his girlfriend caddy for him, right? Yeah. My girlfriend did that for me last weekend. 
Dude, and it was awesome. Get some girlfriend points there. Did you yep. cash them in, dude? Yeah, I did. It's going to cost me some chores and <laughs> some back rubs. Yep, and <laughs> exactly. Tim's girlfriend was falling around the round, too. Nice. Yeah, super, she was also super nice. Uh, but anyway, uh, Ricky's got that two stroke lead over Paul. Got seven down after 18. That is unbelievable, De La. And that's going to raise the whole 18, which is a dangerous hole. It's You're throwing up, big dog way right, you're throwing uphill, then downhill. And the pin is just on this peninsula of cliffs everywhere. And look what Simon's doing right Ooh, in the round. Checking the scores. Checking the scores. <laughs> and here we got the scores. See Ricky with that lead. And I think it's Steve Rico, minus 17. Yep. Making yeah. a charge. On the chase card. Really cool. And uh, Ricky's got the box after the back to back birdies. Do a putter there. Oh, yep. Got a little tight. The windows on this are so tight. It just looks like a wall of trees on the video. Yeah, it really is. <laughs> wow. Ooh, Simon. Jeez. Oh, he even skipped over the route, too. It's parked. Unbelievable. Sometimes the course likes you. Right? Not that that wasn't a perfect shot. Yeah. <laughs> it helps when the yeah. course likes you. Hey, Dilla, you can have a perfect shot be hated on. Yep. So Tim got down there. He's outside the circle, probably laying up range, I'm guessing. We'll see. Uh, and Paul's throwing his pro rock three. And that looked pretty nice. Didn't seem like it really flexed out too much. Yeah, you're right. He did come up a little short. You can see he's about 40 out, maybe a little under. This is a difficult upshot. Oh, oh my. Sit down. God. It did sit right there. So it didn't go too far. Tim just doing the smart thing and just yep. laying up because that's 100 percent death from where he is. And Paul has this for birdie. He's about 38 feet. And you know he wants it, right? Yep. Two back from Ricky. Yeah. Just had a rough shot. Ooh. Bang, bang. Dang. Unbelievable, dude. God. <laughs> That's mean, such a dangerous thing to run. You miss that, then... The tournament's probably over yeah. almost. You know? I mean, realistically, yeah. Yeah, but he makes it. Now he's somewhat back in it. See if you put the ice on Ricky. Yep. Ricky for par. Oh. Oh, sit down. Oh, no. No way. Dude, that one's gone. No way. Yeah, it went so far, he's re-putting from where he was. Just taking a stroke and throwing it again. Wow. Yeah. So hopefully he can make this for a five. Yep. Oh, oh thankfully he does. That's a clutch five putt. That is ridiculous. I, I can't believe it rolled out the way he, where he, I expected the roll out on the far side, because that's yep. where the super cliff is. And somehow it comes backwards and rolls out. And misses some of the roots that are there. Yeah. And, oh, super unlucky, but Simon had a pretty nice break. Yeah, jeez. <laughs> And there's Tim with the really nice par. Uh, mm. Super unfortunate bug for Rick. Three stroke, Three swing, stroke swing right there. Wow. Crazy. Both Simon and Paul. Yeah. So uh, Paul has got that one stroke lead over Ricky and Simon now. And yeah. McBeast mode activated? Yeah. I think so. You don't really want to give momentum yeah. to Paul. Mm -hmm. He's holding with it. And so you got a two stroke lead going into hole 25, 399. And again, I think it takes 550, 600 feet of power to get there. It's just to, super uphill, and it's on a hyzer the whole hyzer way. Hyzer the whole way. That's the thing that yeah. gets you. You really can't flex it much, mm -hmm. if at all. And it looks like Paul's throwing a Star Destroyer. Rips and it down on a beautiful-looking hyzer line. Oh, my God. Wow. Inside the circle, dude. I've never seen a better drive than that. He's stoked. That is unbelievably crushed, people. God. Wow. A nail in a coffin right there. Right? He's God. like, uh, I'm gonna crush you. Yep. What, what little dreams you had left. <laughs> See what Tim can do here. Throwing with that Timmy Skellinger yep. style. Yep. Got a lot up there. Kind of reminds me of like Garrett Gerthy. Uh, like He's got the Drew Gibson. Yeah. The like, left arm up high yeah. and right hand underneath. I wonder if it. Whatever it does, like generate momentum almost, you know? Like they use it to generate swing. It's just kind of crazy. He's got the power to get oh up there. Oh my God. Looks like he hung it out a little wide, though. Dude, he, wow. look how far that he was, threw that. That was just a, a pure smash. God, Ricky absolutely crushes. I mean, all these guys crush. Yeah. Speaking of crushers, Ooh. Simon is up next, and he's not happy with it. But that thing fights. Wow. And he's in the circle for a putt. It's a good spot to be. Wow. <laughs> Tim throwing super uphill on his upshot, gets it pretty close. And Ricky has it for a two, and I'm, I'm sure he's running it. Got to. Oh, oh my. Just flashed across the chains. 
Simon has this for a two, and rollouts on this hole happen a lot. Uh, yeah. And they go really far, but they don't happen when you make them. Nope. <laughs> don't need to worry about it. Nice putt. And Paul has this 15-footer for a birdie. Just unbelievable drive. Wow. Makes it. <clears throat> Give a little little fist yep. bump, you see it? Yep. <laughs> that, that was huge. That was, yeah. It can't be understated how huge to get that hole is. Yeah. Give him that cushion. Rick, not stoked. Mm -hmm. Understandably so. Especially because not a lot of people usually even birdie that hole. Oh, yeah. And then to have it happen, it's like... Mm -hmm. It's a hope you get a par hole. Yep. For a lot of, a lot of guys. Shasta hit a huge birdie putt on Did that he? hole. Yeah, nice. he did. I, I was watching from the t pad oh. so that's pretty much my favorite course, I'm going to say. Yeah. It's unbelievable. Anyway, Rick getting that bird is bringing Paul's lead down to two with two left to go, Gary. Oh. There's a chance. The nail biter. Yeah. Getting there. And we're out a hole 26 8, 354. Just dead straight. Uh, canyon left, canyon right. Uh, dense bushes and trees left and right again. And uh, Rick has a box after that sick birdie. Throw on the hyzer flip with the putter flip flip. Oh, no. Yeah. That's unfortunate. Kind of went down the hill a little bit. Not super duper far, but it's still going to be a tough out. Paul's shot. Ah, oh, cut that last little branch that kicks out in the fairway. It kind of knocks down that, that hyzer flip line. Yeah, it gets pretty narrow, it looks like, halfway down the... It does. It almost kind of favors the forehand shot with the where the fairway is and what uh, open area to finish on to the right of the basket. So Simon went up to the left too. And, uh, Come on, Timmy. Tim is up next. He put it past the pin like 30 feet on a Saturday. Yeah, that's looking good. Yeah, yeah. Wow. Insane. Yeah. That's working. Yeah. That's just pretty much pin high. Great drive from Tim. That was Mary in the orange there. She played an uh, open for the first time in an NT. Oh, nice. Yes. Yeah. Gotta love the effort. Yeah. So that's where the basket was, and that's Simon's out, and it's kind of far off to the left yeah. a little bit. Not, not exactly what I was hoping for. That's Rick. That's a tough spot to be oh, in. Oh my goodness, it's such a tough out from there. There's so much in the way. And Rick powers it through and... Gets out enough? There yep. it is. <laughs> <laughs> Falls down eventually. And uh, Paul has this to just seriously bury everybody. Oh, oh just vicious. And uh, Rick has this to stay within two of Paul. Oh. Tickle, tickle, no love. Yeah. Simon to try and save par. Oh, chains out as well. Uh, Timmy's got a birdie look though. Ooh. There we go. Nice. I see somebody get a birdie on this one. Yep. A little shot of the gallery. Most of the gallery was the, the other way, though. Yeah, probably yeah. waiting at the bottom of the, uh, the next hole. And at the top, top of 27. Oh, my yeah. God, it was crowded up there, dude. I was throwing elbows to try to get my, my camera <laughs> angle, man. <laughs> uh, everybody tapping in? Yeah. Sorry if I got in your way when you are watching people, but I figured, like, a lot of people watch the video, so it's already kind of... It's for the masses. Yeah. It's, it, for, it's for the greater good. It compensates, right, yeah. And uh, Rick and Simon with the uh, unfortunate bugs there. Bringing Paul lead to three on 27. That's pretty much it. Yeah, he's probably going to play it safe and do some work. We will see. Uh, 27, 550, top of the world, throwing super downhill. Got this amazing view up here. It's a nice reward for hiking this course all day. Yep. <laughs> but then you have to walk down this hill, and that's pretty exhausting in itself. <laughs> After a long, yeah. long, long we had a super good visibility that day. You can see all the way over to... To Monterey, it was really cool. That's awesome. So Tim has the box after a really nice birdie. Where's Mike's body? And he is Heiser flipping a rock just right at it. Yeah. You like how that guy oh, just jumps wow. away? <laughs> go, go. Get up. He threw almost the same shot on Saturday. That's just crazy cool. I really like it. It takes a lot of control to throw a flippy mid range down a mountain like that. Right? So Paul takes the, it's pretty much the safer route, the forehand hyzer, and I just failed so hard oh, filming, is. but I eventually oh. found it. <laughs> he came up a little short right, which is actually kind of where he was on Friday. And Rick also throws the forehand, because Ricky's got a killer forehand. Yeah. My camera is freaking out there. Going from dark to light? Yeah, something. Oh, hits the tree and drops down yeah. pretty close. Really, from there? Yeah, really nice drive. 
Simon also has a killer forehand and he's using it. A little short. Yep, a little short, right? Tinkles around. Yeah. Looks like Paul's gonna squeak under the basket, under the yeah. tree this time. A really nice smart layup. Yeah. Simon has a pretty look, but there's a tree in the way. See if he can float it in the hand, maneuver around it. Super close. See if Tim can finish on a bird. Looks like he's just outside the circle. Oh, oh. just up the cage. And see if Rick can finish strong here and uh, take second by himself. Yep. Yeah, nice. yeah buddy. Clutch fight right there. Yep. Takes a lot of mental strength after oh, man, a couple yeah. rough holes like that. Yeah. Composure and then bang along cut like that. Mm -hmm. Simon, uh, tap it in his part. Tim tapping in his part to let Paul finish last. And uh, three time champ. There he is. Paul Macbeth. Does yeah. it again. Unreal. Hell of an ending. The guy is. Good. But uh, thanks for watching, guys. And we will catch you around. We're out of time this episode, so we've got to wrap things up now. But we'll be back in a couple of months with more from around the disc golfing world. Thanks to Ian Anderson, Pavo Stubstad, and Chris Beyer for sharing their productions with our viewers. Thanks also to the PDGA for supporting Disc Golf Live. Until next time, drive carefully. Does it again. Unreal. Hell of an ending. Good. This putt, uh, after that putt on 18, I was just right, like, oh, like, well, I guess you know, that's it. 2014 Masters Cup champ. How many years in a row is this, Paul? Uh, this is three years now. Yeah, make a tradition out of it. A tradition of coming here. <laughs> Hopefully, what it keeps going, man. Congrats, man. That's a really impressive performance. Thank you. Yeah. So, uh, talk to, talk about that putt on 18 after you bogeyed 17. Oh, yeah. That putt on 18. Did you think about laying up, or are you running it 100 percent the whole no, time? I knew if I made that putt, I would at least have a chance to still come back. And it was probably in between 35, 40, with just nothing behind. That's it. That's a hundred percent death putt. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, I knew if I if I wanted to win, I if I wanted a chance to win, actually I had to make that putt. And yeah. Run. So laying up never never crossed your mind. Crossed Love it, man. That's, that's the way a champion thinks, man. <laughs> How about that drive on 25? Have you ever gotten closer? I have not gotten closer than that, but I did put it in the circle the first day. You did, yep. Unfortunately, missed it and rolled down the hill, took my four. So this one. I knew just get in that basket. I don't think I've seen a closer shot on 25, man. That was, yeah, that was unreal. Definitely my best drive of the day. Cool. All right, man. Well, how's the tournament overall? The tournament's always fun. Uh, you get to come here and play De La Viega. You know, it's a prestigious course. Uh, you know, it's got tradition behind it, history. And uh, it's just always awesome to come out here. And then the tournament you know, it runs so smooth every year. So yeah, it does. It's definitely you know, a must-go-to. Cool. Well, thanks for your time. If you ever see my car on the road, take pictures, post online. <laughs> I enjoy seeing that. So. Nice, man. Where are you heading to next? Japan. Japan? Awesome, Japan. man. That yeah. is a good blast, dude. So, I'm cool. excited, and hopefully everyone's watching at home. I know it won't be Central Coast. <laughs> we might have some coverage, actually. We'll there see. We'll see. <laughs> All right. Thanks for your time, Paul. Catch you around. Thank you.